Good news everybody! Humanity is finally starting to solve the plastic bag and the plastics and the pollution from the plastics. We are finally starting to solve this issue. What we see in here is a organic plastic bag made from starch and a traditional plastic bag made from polyethylene. Visually the difference is very small. The polyethylene plastic bag is slightly more transparent. This is a biodegradable compostable plastic bag or better said corn starch or starch or sugar starch or plant starch or just starch bag. It has uh, the Austrian uh, certificate of being compostable with the number of S0098 uh, can be used for edible products like food certified in Europe and the difference is it's, it's more softer, it's more stretchable let's stretch it out like stretch it stretch 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 it's a little bit like latex a little bit and then it breaks this is the polyethylene plastic the ones that they pollute the oceans and the, the fields and the countries where there is no proper recycling systems let's stretch it out stretch 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 it's a little bit more resistant the polyethylene is a little bit more resistant but not that much that it matters for the shopping applications we love shopping we shop so much and then we buy so much plastic that it destroys our world okay let's stretch this one a little bit more this is a starch corn starch or sugar starch or just plant starch so imagine like a bag of fruits or any shopping product that you buy it's an okay starch bag the difference between the two that this one is going to be in the environment for ages animals will eat it other animals will eat it and then we are going to eat those animals and get sick this one is going to be compostable or degraded in six months what it took to get this invention into the shops or into the real life it took a ban a ban or prohibition on or plastic bags in the european shops and the question is this technology did exist before it did exist on a small scale nobody wanted to buy them they were like one cent or two cent more expensive than the polyethylene plastic bag and then the government introduced a ban on plastic bags and the supermarkets, the larger supermarket chains started to implement the starch plastic bag or starch bags in the European supermarkets because they wanted to avoid fines, like uh, large fines for large supermarket chains. The governments usually go for the larger organizations first before they go for the small ones, just to set examples and to create fear. So what was happening in the past is that the, the non-conscious and the non-social uh, organizations, the profit-oriented organizations, did not want to pay a little bit extra. We as a customers, we would gladly pay like what one or two cents on top of our purchase so that we could save the environment. But the companies that wrapped their products in plastic bags or plastic packaging they did not offer this solution just because they wanted to make their products cheaper because they say price 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 is the most important thing for the customer and we did pollute the environment just to save like five cents on the purchase now that we have these cornstarch products that can be used in, in totally similar way when we make purchases and when the packages can be from the starch 
potato starch, corn starch, sugar. It smells a little bit like candy. Makes a noise that is a little bit more softer to the, than the, the plastic one. Just, uh, it makes the more clearer sound. And this one is more like softer, more natural. Because it's made from natural ingredients. So we were polluting our environment just to save a few cents. And it took a government to ban the plastic bag and the plastic packaging or the single-use plastics in the shops. To ban it with the promise to, to deliver fines if the ban is not kept as promised by the shops and vendors and large-scale organizations that sell product plastic products or manufacture plastic products so and the question real question is did the market economy fail did the capitalism fail because why did it why was it required for the government to ban something when the capitalism should have made it possible before and the answer is yes in this game, case, capitalism did fail. It took a ban, it took like a government intervention, prohibition, a strict rule from the government that was interfering with the economy, with the direct economy, to say the product must be banned or this use of this substance must be banned so that we can save the environment. Why did capitalism not come up with this we are conscious people, we will gladly pay like one cent more if you would use a starch bag and know that we are not contributing to the destruction of our own environment, our own homes around us and the air that we breathe is slightly more cleaner. You gladly pay like one cent, why not? Like we pay one dollar, one euro, one and one cent more, that's it. You will gladly accept it as a customer, but the market economy or the free capitalism did not allow this just to save on the price, not to, sh not to search for new relationships with the supplier of this bag. And this is an interesting lesson. Yes, we can save our environment, but don't expect the capitalism to solve it completely. Sometimes it requires a, like a small intervention from the government to ban something, to ban a substance or to ban a product that is polluting the environment or to ban a practice. In this case, yes, sadly, the capitalism as a system does not work. The environmental protection must be enforced by the government for these reasons until we evolve and to think of our purchases or of our actions in terms of our own environmental health that includes water, air, food. Not just around us, but also in the places that we visit and the places that we source our products from, that the food is not about the other people even. It's about us and the people around us because every action creates a little bit of a small reaction in the environment around us. Whatever we consume, wherever we purchase and whatever we pay for, is going to create an ambience around us. If we buy this plastic bag and keep buying them somewhere around our area, it's going to be the waste recycling or waste management facility that is going to burn them or to use some kind of a chemical processing process or to bury them and the fumes from them are always going to be in our area or in the area from the people that create products and services and what not for us. So it affects us in any way. I hope this news is good. 
So Europe is shifting away from the single-use plastics. We still love the durable plastics for the products that require to be weatherproof. The rest of it, it does have to be plastic, it's just not necessary. If you like this new trend and this new development, give the video a like, make a positive contributing comment uh, or share your experience with similar situations and similar developments on our planet. Small things like this can solve the crisis of the pollution and the crisis of the environmental destruction, influence or wrecking of our planet. There's just too many of us on the planet. If we want to continue to use non-sustainable products or non-sustainable materials, if we continue to use sustainable practices, materials like farming, if it's biodegradable, we can still have more and more people on the planet. It's not an issue. It's only an issue if we continue to have non-sustainable practices and materials and products and manufacturing processes. If we slowly transition to the sustainability model, like nature does, then we can have a little bit more sustainable future where everybody of us is going to have the benefit of at least a clean air. If nothing else, then at least we have the cleaner air in the city. Like the video, make a contribution. Make a comment wherever you can, wherever you find this video. Thank you. Have fun. Thank you.